I'm Dr. Bud Pierce. I'm a medical hematologist oncologist. I think it's because I had a lot of ear infections when I was growing up and I kind of said I want to help kids or people and so that really got me going and thinking about being a doctor and I would always say that from the age of three or four. I said I'm going to be a doctor not knowing you even had to go to medical school. I chose my specialty really on experience. I had uh, entered medical school with the idea that I would be a family practitioner because I wanted to be broad-based and take care of people in the community. And I was accepted at UCLA, which had a marvelous cancer program and a heart program. And one of my early rotations as a medical student was on a bone marrow transplant unit. We had the second one on the West Coast. And uh, I just found it great, the science and the ability to take care of patients, to get to know them, and actually to cure very difficult to cure diseases. So with that background, I changed my uh, idea and became uh, went on the track of becoming a medical oncologist. So my approach to patient care is to become the doctor of the patient. And what, what I mean is, it's not so much paternalism, but you really want to become the one who guides the patient throughout their cancer care experience, hopefully to cure. I have a technical part, which is what I've trained to do, give medications, but I have a much broader context, which is to care for the patient and make sure they get the highest level of care and be responsible for that. So I take personal responsibility for their whole cancer care continuum. So when I think about medical oncology practice in the community, what's really rewarding and I've seen develop during my career is the availability to give the best of care and the most modern of care in the local community setting. When I started uh, medical school and training, you had to go to the Mecca. You had to go to the University of Washington, OHSU, UCLA, Mayo Clinic, and you would get a certain level of care and outside of there you couldn't get it. And now, rapidly, when new treatments are developed, they come right to Lincoln City, they come right to Newport, they come out to the coast. So 98, 99% of the time, you can get identical treatment and really better care and more responsive care in many ways by being treated locally. And that's a great thing for someone who chose to be a medical oncologist who works in the community and not an academic doctor. I have a place at the coast uh, that uh, I love to go to. There's no place I love more than the Oregon coast. Get to go out there and walk the dogs on the beach and, and do that kind of thing. I just enjoy life and I really love Oregon.